What is going on everyone? Josh from Colossus Fitness and today I'm going to teach you how to do one of my favorite chest exercises, the unilateral dumbbell single arm bench press. It's an amazing movement because you're going to work each side of your chest individually and you're really going to even out that pressing strength. When you're doing a lot of barbell strength, you may find one side becomes dominant, one side becomes weaker, one pec becomes bigger, so this is an easy solution. So there's two different ways to go through this and it's going to have the same fundamentals as our dumbbell bench press video. So if you haven't watched that, that is the first link in the description down below. And if you click that, pause this and then come back after. You want to learn the basics before getting into more of the advanced stuff. So first and foremost, you're going to grab your dumbbells. I recommend going a little lighter than you normally would, only because you're going to be working each side individually. So as you can see me doing here, I'm doing the first variant, which is where I have one dumbbell all the way up as I'm pressing with the other one and alternating from there. This one's a little tougher because it's going to require more oblique stability and control. Whereas the other variation that you can see me doing here, I'm just pressing one at a time, less stability, less control, but it really does help me work each side independently. So the same principles apply as a normal dumbbell bench press. You know where you want to have some arcs and control and you want to have a lot of squeeze in your abs, especially as you're doing each side independently. Really work on powering up and squeezing that chest at the top, really forcing a two second negative because we really do want to be focusing on each side individually. Now, without further ado, Kyle is going to jump into three common mistakes we see within this exercise. And common mistake number one, and I see this a lot just with the regular bench press as well, is just not being tight enough to the ground and to the bench. If you want to optimize your strength, you want to get as strong as physically possible, but also, especially for the single arm variations where it requires more stability, make sure there's so many different points of contact with the bench and the floor. What I mean by this is the head should be placed against here, uh, the bench as physically hard as possible, the glutes should be engaged, the glutes, you should actually be squeezing it, your feet should be drilled into the ground, every part, so what it looks like is, you know, a lot of times people do a bench press, they'll just like, you know, grab the dumbbells, they'll lay back and then they'll start pressing, right? But when you actually grab the dumbbells, you lay back, your head's flat, your glutes are engaged, you bring your legs closer towards your butt, underneath your hips, and you squeeze every muscle within your lower body, you're gonna be so much more grounded and you're gonna be able to just press so much more and just be in such a stronger position. Mistake number two within this exercise, and once again, a lot of bench press, especially dumbbell variations, is people will have their arms straight and then when they bring their arms down, they flare the elbows, right? So you can see here, it's kind of like a 90 degree angle. It's gonna put a lot of strain on the shoulders. So when you're doing these variations, instead of just flaring it down like this, you wanna keep the elbows nice and tight to your side, more of like a 45 degree angle. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like. I'll show you the common mistake. I'll try not to hurt my shoulders here, but when they do it here, the arms are straight and then the elbow's being flared. That puts a lot of strain, right? If you simply take your elbow and tuck it in a little bit closer to your side, just like a little 45 degree angle here, instead of a 90 degree angle, you're gonna be in a much safer pressing position. You're gonna save your shoulders and you're gonna be significantly stronger in the long run. And common mistake number three is lack of control. And this is something we, we notice with many exercises in the gym. Of course, making sure you're pressing nice and intensely and strongly is great. And we like to do that for the barbell bench press. But for us, this is more of a unilateral controlled exercise. So I'll show you basically, oftentimes, you know, you'll see stuff like this, just to try to blast up the most amount of weight. And once again, depending on your goals, but for us, we're mainly looking to just become stronger and also just focus on, you know, making sure you're never getting injured. You don't hurt your elbow joints, your shoulders, anything like that. So for us, we like to isolate that muscle a little bit more, especially because we're doing unilateral and we're focusing on that one side. So a nice two to three second negative with a nice blast up is a really good count and a really good way to approach this exercise. So hopefully this all makes sense to you. If you're new to the gym, if you're new to working out, we are the number one online coaches out there. Our goal with our online coaching program is to make it as simple and easy as possible with these form videos, with the most scientific uh, routines out there to hold you accountable and help you achieve your goals through nutrition, lifestyle, and training. Make sure to hit that first link in the description below if you want to inquire and learn more about our Polished Physique program. Until next time, pass that. Hit the second link in the description for a full form guide teaching you how to do all these exercises, 50 plus exercises. It's like a free personal trainer in your pocket. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.